Hey there, sign of Taurus. My name is Kim and I'll do your reading for the next 24 hours. This will be a shorter reading, mainly just some oracle cards and we might clarify with the tarot if needed. Um, thank you for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing. I do appreciate all of you all. Um, so we're going to start by calling in the divine white light to surround us as we do this reading and surround you as you watch this reading. Calling in our angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power. And we're going to start off, Taurus, with the energy deck. I'm feeling the energy deck today for some reason. All right, so for Taurus, next 24 hours, please, spirit, and thank you. Journey. And I always think when I see the journey card, I think physical or mental. Physical or mental, it can be both. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. So some action needs to be taken on um, some journey that you need to make. Let's see. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That's your king of pentacles. Somebody that can give you good advice on investments, on money. Showing appreciation for what you do have. Or maybe this is someone in your life that appreciates you and all you do. This is the Cancer card of Chariot. The Chariot is moving forward, propelling towards victory, really. Um, it is towards a victory. It's just, it's, it's a long road to get there. And it's a journey. We would call it a journey. Um, and it might be to get to this state. You know, a lot of people want to be sitting like the King of Pentacles. Um, because that's really good and confident with your money. So, I think it might be that. So, it needs to be some action taking place that will send you on a journey, either me mental or physical. And um, you'll reach this King of Pentacles feeling um, like you fit that role. And you will either show your appreciation for your blessings or somebody will let you know how much you are appreciated by them. All right, let's get let's get a spell casting card for Taurus, please. Next twenty four hours. Oh, nice. You know what? I just got something similar with Virgo um, about making your dreams a reality, manifesting. And I think that that's what this one is all about with you. I think this is about making your dreams a reality and manifesting. We're going to get the tarot, and we're going to see what the dreams card is about with the tarot. All right, so something that's going to get you out of this feeling of being um, trapped, of feeling like you can't move, almost so anxious and nervous, like you're paranoid almost. Um, and it might be the feeling that you're getting, this This might be, have different stories. This could be somebody that's getting really bad dreams, right? That leaves you anxious and paranoid feeling, feeling like you're trapped. Maybe that's what your dream is about. Then um, I also see people manifesting their dreams and manifesting them while dealing with this anxiety. I think whenever your dreams manifest, uh, this anxiety will just kind of go away with that. Let's get some more. Let's get um, a card for action. Oh, <laughs> card for action. All right, so if you're already giving and taking, you know, nicely, the law of cause and effect, if you are helping other people, being charitable, that will come back for you. And then Page of Cups is like a new beginning in something, something that's very emotionally fulfilling for you. Um, and it also can be... Um, news or messages of a new start in, in involving a child that's Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces could be that too. But Taurus, the Six of Pentacles is about what goes around comes around. So something that you may have done for somebody else will come around to you. All right, let's see. Man holding a coin. Oh, goodness. <laughs> we will take that. Change. Change. Maybe in your belief in 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 money, maybe. Um, we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and we also have a journey happening right here. This could be either mentally or physically too, but it's moving from, if it's mentally, then it's like moving from one belief to another. 
like if you believe that money is the root of all evil and that's how you were raised, changing that belief up. It will definitely help you move to calmer waters to have a healthier viewpoint on money. Let's look at appreciation. And then the night he's there bringing swift change. Swift change. Okay. Appreciation for Taurus, please. Appreciation for Taurus. Queen of Swords. All right. Somebody who just doesn't take any BS. They, uh, it's a feminine energy. It's the yin. So it's like waiting uh, to receive what she, she also sees like the truth through the lines. She can read between the lines, let's say. She has her eye on her target. She's a little cold. Maybe a little cold. Maybe this is the person that appreciates you. Maybe that's how they come off. Um, it may be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Again, with the um, Knight of Swords, then the Queen of Swords. So it's like she's just waiting for maybe her appreciation to be known. And this is just a feminine energy, not um, exactly feminine. Let's get one more for that Queen of Swords. Oh, nice. All right. Yeah. Okay. So this person might come across as cold, but deep down what they're really wanting with you is a happy family, I believe. I think that's what it's about. And happy family meaning stable on all levels, on material, emotional, um, able to focus on the family because not having outside problems, getting rid of problems. See, what does your guardian angel want to say to you, Taurus? Whoa. <laughs> we will take that. Angel of imagination. Angel of imagination. You need to imagine and dream and visualize what you want to change, what you're wanting to change in your life. Um, let me look up in the book. 17. 17. Do, 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 do. Okay, uh, you receive this card because your angels have seen the visions that inspire you on a daily basis. Um, it says, have you been contemplating taking an art class or photography? Do you think about writing a book or creating a daily affirmation journal? Do you wish to explore the musical side of yourself or do you simply want to be more creative? Um, this angel can guide you into the right direction of how to start a project. So um, synchronicities will line up like you will just find the right teacher to assist you in the physical realm and there's divine guidance. This angel provides guidance uh, to talented artists, writers, musicians, sculptors, architects, and builders of the past. Your affirmation is I'm inspired by my angel of imagination to use my imagination to bring my thoughts into reality. Nice, Taurus. Now we're going to get some tea leaves. Hmm. Oh, goodness. All right, I'm going to take them, but, but just remember there's a ton. <laughs> there's a lot that fell out. They're not possibly going to relate to everybody. So you just take what does and leave the rest. Okay, we have great personal sorrow, teardrops. And it might have to do with this Eight of Swords. It really might... Um, broom, new home, new attitude. There we go with that happy family. Money path. The path of money is waiting for you to find it. I think that's where you're journeying to. Unicorn. Use your imagination to make beneficial changes. There's the changes right here. That that um, knight of swords. Dark man. Dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair. Throne, position of authority. Apple, temptation will test you. Bird perched, waiting for news, package, or a letter. Leg, stepping into a new experience. And then fair man, dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. All right, guys. Thank you for letting me do your reading. Appreciate it. I'm sending much love and light out to you all. Bye, Taurus.